80% asthmatics actually don't have asthma at all and the majority of these symptoms are due to silent reflux. Please don't understand me wrong, this information is according to Dr. Jamie Kaufman. I think that most of the people knows what asthma is. When not, asthma is a chronic condition that affects the airways in the lungs. You have to know the airways are tubes that carry air in and out of your lungs. And if you have asthma, the airways can become inflamed and narrowed at times. This makes it harder for air to flow out of your airways when you breathe out. Another typical symptom of asthma is chronic cough. But before I continue with the video, I will tell you that the information here can never replace the advice of a medical doctor. For that reason, when you have health problems, please contact your doctor first. The second thing what I want to tell you is that I and a lot of other experts in this area are of the opinion that the best and naturally way to cure silent reflux is a specific diet. For that reason, I will recommend you my reflux formula, which helped over hundreds of people in Germany, Austria and in Swiss to get rid of the silent reflux symptoms. The reflux formula is a specific food list where you can see directly which foods causes silent reflux and which are good for your healing process. If you are interested in them, the link to my reflux formula is in the video description. Ok, let's continue with silent reflux. We know that uh, by silent reflux, the gaseous reflux rise up to the esophagus, throat and the airways. This gaseous reflux is acidic or sour and it includes pepsin. And when those pepsin scenes are out of our stomach, they can do a lot of damage. If you are interested to learn more about pepsin and how does it work by silent reflux, you can watch my other video about that. Ok, but what is the link between silent reflux and asthma? Some symptoms of silent reflux like chronic cough are similar to asthma symptoms and this often leads to a wrong uh, diagnosis. But I know also that the relation of these both diseases are not researched enough. In general we can say that we have two options which can explain us the correlation of uh, silent reflux and asthma. The first option is that the reflux cause asthma symptoms. Then you have to know when reflux comes up to our airways or to our esophagus, it can irritate this area. And because of this irritation, we can feel it like as asthma. The second option is that asthma itself cause reflux. Because all the experts say that a strong cough, which can relate, released by asthma, can promote reflux over time. Probably it makes the esophagus sphincter weaker, but also the medication what the people took for asthma can cause reflux. I don't know if you hear something about beta agonists and theophylline. These are very common substances which you can find in asthma medications. And beta agonists and theophylline cause also a weakness of the sphincters. Therefore, we can say that asthma possibly can trigger also reflux. I hope you understand now the relation between uh, these two diseases. If you have also other questions about silent reflux, you can let me a comment about that. And in this case, I wish you a good day and bye.